My name is Paulina and I'm a senior graphic designer at Peabody, which is a property company. Um, I'd say creativity, knowledge of the required software, research and ad adaptability. And let me expand a little bit further. In order to be creative, you've got to stay curious. The more you know, see experience, the more creative you become. It's like any discipline, you've got to train it. Um, knowledge of the design software, and I'm talking here about Adobe products like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, etc. Um, research. So in order to design something, you need to know what you're designing and who is your design talking to. So you have to do your research. And as a designer, as a creative person, you have to be adaptable as you never know who you're going to work with um, and your job can take you to magical and terrifying places. My typical day at my job, uh, since the pandemic, I work mostly from home. Um, so normally I wake up about eight o'clock, go for a jog or a, dog with my, uh, or a walk with my little doggy. Then I have a super healthy breakfast and I log into my emails. I spent about half an hour going through the emails and to plan my day ahead. And um, I spent most of my day practically designing. Um, designing essentially means making um, things look good. I'm putting films together or I have occasional project meetings. I'm respons responsible for photography and filming at work too. So I've got days that I go out on location and capture some images, some photos, um, some footage. Then I go back home or office because we go back to the office once a week now. Uh, look through the footage or the photos and either retouch them or put them together. Um, in terms of design, I work on all visual aspects in my company. By visual aspects, I mean adverts, brochures, logos for future developments, social media posts, etc. So it has been quite a journey. I firstly studied criminology and psychology, then I moved into advertising, and I lastly got masters in creativity from Central St. Martins. I worked in numerous marketing and communication roles um, when I discovered that I'm really interested in design, film and photography and any sort of creative aspects of that role. Um, I wasn't fully trained in any of them, but I was determined. So I learned through mainly actually YouTube videos and other online free resources. I also took up, took up some courses on a Coursera, which is a free online learning resource. And I attended the South Thames College. Um, I started to take freelance projects, I hung out with um, other designers, which I met through meetups, and there's so many meetups, design related meetups in London. I kept trying, I did no numerous internships and kept learning, and then I suppose it led me to a job that um, I have today, um, designer at Peabody. Um, as I mentioned previously, I think it would be the, the, the main, the, the key skills you have to have to be a designer would be a creativity and a knowledge of the Adobe software. Um, but in order to get a job as a designer or photographer or a film editor, you have to have a portfolio. Um, if you have no experience, it doesn't matter at all. I suggest creating a couple of logos or um, posters for either existing company or a company that you entirely made up by yourself few adverts, maybe some mock-up of the brushes and presenting it on a job interview. Because it's not the CV that matters, it's your portfolio and the ability to think creatively. Yeah, it's similarly with the photography or filming. Uh, so just go out there, take some great photos and films and present them on your job interview. And I also suggest taking, uh, making three different portfolios, at least three different portfolios and applying for the jobs accordingly. And it's extremely important to update your portfolio with any new work that you've got. And one more thing, um, there's one misconception that I'd like to debunk, and it is that to be, become a designer, you have to be good at drawing. Um, it is not true. As long as you know the software well, you are creative and willing to learn, you are a designer. Uh, not really. I, I, I wanted to be all sorts of things. I wanted to be an Olympic swimmer, hairdresser, actress, singer, oceanographer, lawyer, detective, that's why I studied criminology, superhero and many, many more. I guess I let my gut lead me through life and that's how I ended up where I am now. 
I was never afraid of trying new things and failing, and I still keep doing so. Um, I think it's from my mum. Uh, she said to me to stay curious, keep learning, and um, she's a psychologist with a PhD. So she said to me, knowledge is a power, and I'm, I just keep living by, well, keep living through. I don't know. Let me say it again. <laughs> Uh, the best advice I've been given, it was by my mother um, and she said to stay curious, keep learning and knowledge is a power. Most challenging and yet rewarding part of my job would be to work with clients or colleagues. Uh, the larger number of people you work with, the more opinions and alternations to your work you are faced with. Um, and basically that creates long working hours. So the best way to avoid those long working hours is to communicate with your client or a colleague throughout the whole process. And the most rewarding thing is to see your either design or film or photography live. So whether it's a documentary you filmed and you see it on TV or it's a packaging that you design and you go to Waitress and it's there. Um, that's the most re rewarding part of my job. I'd say the same as my mum said, um, keep trying, stay curious, and when you try it and you think it's not for you, do not be afraid, afraid to change, so don't be afraid of change. And most importantly, do not be afraid to fail, as this is how you learn.